वेलकम बैक यूर वॉचिंग दी मनी शो विद मी कविता छपलिया नाउ अ कॉमन वे दैट इन्वेस्टर डाइवर्सिफाइड द पोर्टफोलियो इज वाइट इन्वेस्टमेंट इन ग्लोबल मार्केट नाउ दिस नॉट ओनली डाइवर्सिफाइड दर इन्वेस्टमेंट बट ऑल्सो हेल्प दैम शील दर मनी फ्रॉम एक्सेसिव डोमेस्टिक फ्लक्चुएशन बट एज ए इंडियन मार्केट रूटीनली आउट परफॉर्म दर ग्लोबल पेयर डज इट स्टिल मेक सेंस टू डाइवर्सिफाई इन्वेस्टमेंट ग्लोबली एंड इफ येस एन हाउ शुड एन इन्वेस्टर गो अबाउट इंटरनेशनल एलोकेशन इन दी योर हेड लेट्स डिस्कस ऑल ऑफ दिस विद अरुण बिरानी founder and ceo tvng capital advisor sarun good evening and welcome to the show all right international diversification at this point in time where indian equities look really strong and happening and whether headwinds in the global markets you think is the right time to initiate that aspect of diversification so good evening kavita uh, i think very interesting topic and uh, i feel uh, uh, ideally we diversify to other geographies while allocating because uh, the correlation with the other capital markets is low and would provide us a shield right in terms of a downside protection if your uh, home market doesn't do well uh, and uh, we have tried doing uh, a correlation study of last 3 years with indian market with the chinese market and with the us market and uh, all these 3 year correlation study is very clearly demonstrating that uh, there is a uh, with india and china uh, india and china there is a uh, 0.25% correlation and with india and us there is a 0.37% the 0.37 which clearly tells uh, there is a good diversification benefit gets because both the markets behave very differently again this is important uh, the markets are uh, not affected. second is uh, the session right our currency has been depreciating for the long right so if anybody has plans outside india over long term let's say looking at a kids future future education or let's say any lifestyle expenses we are looking outside from that point of view uh, again uh, mitigating currency risk could be uh, again one of the reasons for investing and third could be getting access to high quality companies which are not available in your home market so if i look at there are many many sectors where there are no companies available high quality companies available in india so if i look at defense i look at uh, again uh, technology consumer technology if i look at there are not many names available in india so from fear uh, uh, identifying such high quality company I, i i will look at diversification yes i know last one to one and half years has not been a great period for global market but this is where a detailed suitability in terms of understanding of the risk profile of the investor financial goals tax structure all these need liquidity requirements all these need to be studied before investing so if you have very clear cut goals uh, going forward i feel uh, 10 to 15% diversification outside your home country makes a lot of sense so now let's talk about uh, on behalf of someone actually who wants to start doing this from now on uh, you said the uh, us and china these are two markets where we can actually look at diversifying a portfolio and the allocation amount could be around 10 to 15% and that one will do only when they are well diversified in their home portfolio or maybe they have their core portfolio sorted uh, only then they should just add a touch of international uh, markets on their uh, all be lined up and gold aligned portfolio i would say uh, uh let's talk about diversifying into interna- into international markets for specific sectors now let's say technical or tech sector do you think this really makes sense or uh, you know ev is a is quite a booming theme where we are seeing that in, in the, even indian amcs have launched funds uh, uh, which cater to uh, international markets and this particular theme can one really look at uh, the innovation in their portfolio when it comes to diversifying internationally so i have a very different view point here kavita i think i am talking more from a fundamental point of view uh, that diversification is very critical from home country market it is not just because you don't have a ev uh, available here but uh, from the bigger reason i feel is let's say we are talking about technology so we 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 don't have uh, such consumer technology names available in india i understand ev is also one space but uh, there are some froth and glamour av- uh, attached to lot of investing outside also so that is that is one very big reason we need to be very careful not to go by uh, 
फर्स्ट बिल्डअप है अ कोर पोर्टफोलियो एंड आई फील बिल्डिंग अ कोर पोर्टफोलियो लेट से एस एन पी फाइव हंड्रेड इन योर पोर्टफोलियो एंड नेसडेक इन योर पोर्टफोलियो और ए गुड इमर्जिंग मार्केट इंडेक्स फंड इन योर पोर्टफोलियो कुड बी अ गुड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ कोर आई फील मोस्ट ऑफ द इंडियन इन्वेस्टर डजन हैव अ गुड कोर पोर्टफोलियो इंटरनेशनल पोर्टफोलियो अवेलेबल सो दैट कुड बी अ ग्रेट स्टार्ट टॉकिंग स्पेसिफिकली अबाउट टेक्नोलॉजी वी हैव सीन लास्ट Two years have been very different, right? I think 2021 behaved very differently. 22 behaved very differently. 22 with the start of almost uh, 350 to 375 basis point rise in the interest rate, we we have observed that most of the contraction is happening globally, and risk of environment has happened globally. And due to that, a uh, lot of money has come out of these. high flying sectors like technology and we have seen almost a index like nasdaq also has corrected more than 30% going forward my guess is uh, that we are more or less at the peak of the interest rates globally also and uh, bearing first quarter uh, some hikes we will start seeing uh, a pause in the interest rate hikes globally so my sense is next 6 to 8 months are very interesting times for anybody who want to build up a, a, a staggered investment into let's say a nasdaq index or a technology index because that can actually help you build a good long term portfolio but my sincere request is first identify your goals you should have a genuine requirement of these funds if these funds are meant for liquidity in couple of years 3 years please don't invest that money if they are aligned with that next 5 to 10 year thought process i think these are great interesting times to build up these assets so then what about the tax implications so from a tax point of view uh, and they uh, as a fund of fund if you invest in a indian fund which feeds into global funds it gets a uh, debt taxation so anything which you hold more than 3 years uh, it gives you indexation benefit like any other debt mutual fund and uh, post indexation a 20% tax uh, uh, need to be paid but uh, since the indexation benefits are quite good so it end up reducing your tax uh, uh, liability by a lot and also what's the current status of uh, uh, sebi's limit that's uh, on amc for international exposure so again uh, this is uh, for everyone it's a public domain data and i yeah. we, we can see that uh, the, the restrictions have been there for quite long and uh, it is expected to uh, uh, go away but i think we are still due to uh, the en- environment we are living in right now with the global risk building up i think uh, this has been delayed so but there are still there are some funds available where uh, since they have not reached the limit so there uh, one can invest into such funds that's right the now. passive route that you are talking about it's the that's correct that's okay. correct that's okay and that's also the right way to get into international market especially if you're just starting off if you're just a beginner yes. Yes. Again, for beginners who mm-hmm. don't understand uh, investing, also mm-hmm. uh, my suggestion would be start with Indian markets. Don't go global so fast. First, start with Indian market. Get your investing experience at least for say two, three, four years. Build up a good India portfolio, and after that, start building up uh, some diversification in the portfolio through global route. Because what happens is. Uh, internationally then investors start looking at a lot of data points lot of news flows which they are not equipped to handle so first part should be at least to start early right i don't want them to get into that wrong habit of uh, observing lot of data points and stop their investing so first let them start and then after 3 4 years maybe they can start looking at global Tarun Virani, thank you so much for being on the show and uh, uh, quite a, uh, a detailed conversation we had on investing or diversifying internationally. Thank you so much for helping our viewers with that today. And thank on you. that note, let's take a quick break. Post that, let's uh, do a live financial planning session with uh, our financial planner on board today, Himanshu Sigi.